Hello everyone, my name is Dustin Lint, and welcome to a brand new series for the channel, Flint Hook. This is a game that I've actually been playing quite a bit of in my off time uh, for personal use, but I thought, you know, with uh, oxygen not included coming to an end for the time being, it will come back, don't worry, for those of you who were very invested in that, uh, just waiting for more new content for it, I thought, Hey, why don't I play a game that I actually have been really enjoying in my own spare time, uh, Flint Hook here. Uh, so, actually, wait a second. Yeah, so this is a game made by Tribute Games. And, uh, I'll do this sort of like a pseudo, uh, thorough thoughts just quickly. Like, yeah, not a whole lot as far as options go, but I don't think a game like this really needs them. Language, music, FX volumes vibration for a controller, but I'm actually using keyboard and mouse. I've actually found with this game, normally I prefer uh, controllers with this kind of a game, but uh, keyboard and mouse feels really good for whatever reason, as opposed to that for me. Uh, so, I did delete my save file that I had just so we could start off from scratch. Uh, and without further ado, let's get on and see what's happening in Flint Hook, in case you are not aware of what this is all about. It's sort of like a... It is a rogue light platformer, I would say. So here we are. Ooh, jumping around. Just starting off our adventures as a space pirate with the quick hook. Where we can now aim and hold to move around. Locomote, one might say, via these hooks. Ooh, my phone is going off like crazy. Uh, probably, yeah, for that. Alright. So, it looks as though, like, we m not sure what's going on with that whole thing right there. Personally, it's like some guy is, like, a flint hook fanatic. Uh, down to jump down. And by down, I mean S. And then, weapons aim. We'll use our plasma pistol. I love the fact that they chose to call it a plasma pistol as opposed to a plasma pistol. It just sounds better as plasma for whatever reason. Okay, and then also our other main mechanic, our uh, chrono buckle, which allows us to slow down time and go through these gates, which we would normally not be able to go through otherwise. Like, see, oh, we get bounced around. But sometimes you can use that bouncing around to your advantage. And then you also have a wall jump that you can use as long as there are walls to jump along. And then sort of the more involved hooking puzzles. Uh, that sounded not quite right. So pick up our bomb, our, one of our many sub weapons, and use Q to use it. Oh, we missed a guy there. Not the end of the world, though. And we will keep going here, and then our other mechanic here, these little green blocks that uh, open up or change where they are, depending on if we hit these bells. And then the main thing about this game, the uh, actual combat rooms. Now, you can shoot through those things, which I do appreciate. Four, five, six, eight. Who do we appreciate? We appreciate Flint Hook because it is a pretty cool and awesome game. And then, whenever you clear one of those challenge rooms, a chest appears where you can either open it up with E or shoot it open, whatever you prefer. And there's usually at least a single apple in each one, as well as some extra money. And then, yeah, that's the guy in the photo, I'm pretty sure, or the portrait, I should say, from earlier. So, I don't know what all is going on with that. It's like he cares about us a bit, but in a really weird, creepy, pedophile kind of way. Don't want to actually say that he's a pedophile, but... Because I don't know if Flint Hook is a kid or not. Uh, you have found Slimy, your trusty goo compass. Feed enough ghost gems to this little guy, and it will guide you to your bounty in no time. And then in here, we have our very first bounty. Uh, let's find out whose flag this is. The mashing mechanic does feel pretty rewarding, although for some instances it's 
you know what you're gonna get more or less, so it doesn't feel quite as rewarding. Bad Eye Billy Bullseye, worth 3,000 coins, unblinking leader of the Hardhorn Clan. They are so good with the like rhyming and uh, what's the other word I'm thinking of? Uh, ooh, and there he is again, sort of like, but, 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 but. yeah. Anyways, so if it isn't evident already, I'm a pretty big fan of this game. So we'll get started here on our very first attempt here at finding and beating Bad Eye Bullseye. Bad Eye blah 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 Bullseye. <laughs> and another thing is, before you go on uh, trips to these uh, ships, you can equip perks, which allow you to do or have different uh, passive benefits at the start. So, like Snag Attack, you get an apple at the start of each ship you board. Pirate Zing gives you an extra 10 HP. Uh, Bullseye gets you more chance of getting Critical Blast. I usually like to take that one as one of my first ones. Know how a bit of experience gives you more experience every time. And then, unfortunately, we can't take anything else right now. No, we can't. And you might be thinking, oh, you should be taking the HP. Well, I've played enough of this that I shouldn't have to take the uh, extra HP in theory. Although I am doing this without a lot of the perks I'm normally used to having, so that could be a bit of a problem. We'll see. Hopefully not too much of a problem. And, yeah, as you saw there before, you get to choose between three ships every time you move around. Oh, we already have ghosts. That's not... It's a ghost ship. Oh, and there's spike traps already? Wow. And then this is like one of our shop people where we can purchase things if we had enough gold, but we don't right now, but hopefully we will sooner rather than later. Go down there and into here. Okay, this is a interesting one. Wait for that to come back. And yep, yep, yep. I am okay. You're gonna be like, this guy played a lot of this game beforehand? What a loser. You know what? It's not quite as easy as it looks all the time. Oh my god. Oh my god. There we go. I have to say, they're introducing some of the more tricky rooms earlier on. Which I know is a bit of a cop-out to a lot of people, but, uh... I, I have to say, like, these haven't been the easiest rooms to deal with. Oh, my lanta. Can't believe I'm almost dead already. There we go. But hopefully we'll get enough apples here that maybe compensates for all that actually terrible damage that I took. Yeah, we got two apples, so it's better than nothing, I suppose. Instead, we will keep moving along here. Another combat room, and this is another, like, much more interesting. Oh, okay, hello. Mon frere. Four hits? Oh, and there's another one in here somewhere. Over the rainbow. Oh, that was actually just dumb. There we go. I really hope that there's, like, no more extra combat in this room. He says, as there is very much so extra combat. Enemies that drop coins, uh, if you don't pick them up in time, they will disappear over time. There we go. Oh, yeah, um, hello. A huge fan of this whole situation. Excuse me, excuse me, thank you. So it took a couple of bad hits there again. Could be a lot worse. I would be like actually crushed though if I ended up dying on this very first ship, which could still be the case. Uh, let's try going down first. Cause baby, if we're gonna go down, we're going down swinging. That's fine, that's fine. That was actually absolutely fine. 
Ah, uh, lost the one apple's worth of HP that I just got there, but that's fine. That's fine. Let's try up next, maybe? I could buy some HP. I could. But... The flint hook player in me is telling me, no, that's not what I want to be doing. What? No. You did not actually hit me, though. I re I rebuke that. We'll take the HP and make our way back over here. Because I do want to buy stuff from our uh, shop, if possible, before leaving here. There was some pretty good stuff in there if I remember correctly, so it's like, if I can get it, that would be great. Oh, but then I have to go through this room. Which actually wasn't that bad. Well, I don't know why I... Oh, but it was actually this room that was kind of terrible though, right? I don't know why I was having so much trouble with those rooms earlier when I'm clearly not having that much trouble now. Oh, that's just embarrassing at this point. Uh, we'll take Pirate Steel. All shops are slightly better deals, so yeah, like, why not? We might even have enough for the meat now, thanks to having done that. Sometimes those hooks are a rigging lifesaver. Ugh. Oh. And then other times you just still get hit because you can't help it because you're mad because... You are bad. Going to here. Uh, we're still like a couple rooms off from being able to purchase the extra HP. Yeah. Oh, I should have gone hit there. Not gonna lie, but I'm not gonna complain at the same time. Space meat for 69. 69 space ducats. I think that's why I'm going to call them is space ducats. And make our way over here. When you see, uh, uh, oh, it's kind of hard to point it out, but in the room that I'm in right now, the one with the big old skull on it, on the mini map, that's usually denotes the room before the end of the ship here. With the big old chest that gets you a ghost jam inside these uh, space shells. Oh, that was a good amount of HP. Crush it! So the space shells generally always contain like a little bit of gold, a ghost gem, and one of those uh, black market coins. Which I'll explain what the black market is hopefully pretty soon here. Assuming I do end up dying or I beat Bad Eye Billy on my very first try here, that would be awesome too, but that's probably not going to happen. Uh, Relic Shop, Big Blast, and Danger Room, Laser Lattice. I think we'll go with the Relic Shop ship, put our money into good use, ideally. As an acrobat, gravity is your foe, but the Chrono Belt is your friend. Got it? That's one thing I have to say. I'm not very good about using my Chrono Belt in combat. I'm also not very good about using... Uh... What is it? It's, uh... My sub-weapons in combat either. Even though, like, that's their whole purpose is... You should be using your sub-weapons in combat. That's their sole purpose. And yet, somehow I can't get it through my thick skull that, uh, not the good kind of thick, but, like, thick as in why are you being an idiot kind of thick. There we go. Got all that gold. And we'll keep going up here where this is actually a very simple room because there doesn't... Oh, see that skull there? Boom, boom. Secret room. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Where it usually doesn't have like a whole lot of stuff, but it gives you an extra little bit of money and uh, a shield and a sub weapon usually. So if you can spot them, they're definitely worth going into. It's just a matter of knowing what to look for, which is usually just one of those tiny little skulls at the edge of a room, which isn't always the most easy thing to spot, I will admit. Ah. 
Okay. Okay, wow, that was a kind of slightly more tricky room than I am normally used to. As far as these puzzles are concerned. Okay, yeah. The return back was actually glorious. It's just that first little bit there that was a little bit more dicey. Okay, what do we have here? Just like a couple of these guys. <sighs> Could care less about them. Ah, okay, well. Could be worse. Could be much, much worse. There we go. Is that, no, there's still like a lot more guys here. There we go. Yeah, baby. That's some good stuff right there. See, I just need to lubricate the old flint hook reflexes there. And then everything was golden pony boy. Yeah, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. And then... Granted, these few enemies right here are not very difficult at all. Just, uh... Making sure that uh, we do things in the proper order. Braber order. Okay, so... Back up to full HP. There's a strat that I haven't really explored yet. That I probably really should at some point. And that's the whole, um... There we go. Oh, that was glorious, actually. Normally, I hate dealing with those guys. And that's the whole idea of not necessarily opening up those chests right away when you're at full HP. Save them for when you do done mess up on a room real bad. Then you can open up those chests later for that extra juicy HP in the form of apples. Sure, you're missing out on some gold in the meantime, but I don't think that's like a terrible thing to miss out on. Ooh, you give me a weapon upgrade? The Bounce Blast. Sure, we'll take the Bounce Blast. Has a little bit of an arc to it now and it bounces off walls. Yeah, it does. Okay. I can get behind that. Ooh, probably should have and could have gone hit there. Cup of Sorrows for 80 ducats? Eight. 80 space ducats added to your relic collection. I'm not sure what relics actually do. I Actually, no, I shouldn't say I don't know what relics do. I think there's some upgrades associated with uh, collecting uh, a certain number of relics. So whenever you have a chance to pick up a relic, you should definitely do so. Because I think the one that comes to mind right off the bat is basically the more relics you have, the more XP you get at the end of each expedition. So we are through here. Whoa. And blam! Open it up. Another space shell. And cr Oh, I missed a chest back there, didn't I? I think I missed a chest back there. We might just face a bad eye Billy in this very first episode, which would be pretty cool. But I'm also kind of mad at myself for forgetting the chest back there. I guess that's one downside to doing that one strat I thought of. Is like, if you need uh, the money or... Then you're kind of straight out of luck. Ooh, danger room, flying infestation, or inspectoral squad sounds pretty dangerous. Or laser lattice bazaars. Um, I think I'll do this one. Even though I've never done a laser lattice room, I know bazaars can be pretty good if you have a lot of spare gold to... Or a lot of space ducats to spare. So we'll go for that. See how that goes. Uncovered the ghost ship's legend in the lore section. I wonder if that's like an actual like thing later on. Ghost ships. Oh, I hate the look of this room already. Yep. Yep. I figured I was probably going to get hit once in that room, at the very least. Oh, 
Oh, I hate the look of this room, too. Um, let's go down for the time being, because I don't want to navigate through any more of that room, if possible. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not a fan of this room in the slightest. We'll just keep going. Here's a combate room. don't seem that bad as long as you know what their deal is Open this up and oh we actually got a black market gem from a regular chest that's actually pretty stellar right there uh we'll go to the right first maybe mm -hmm. there we go some bad hooking okay so here's the i've never seen traps in a shop room before and i hate that we will wait. Say Savoir Fair? Is that how you pronounce that? Three nine. An extra twenty-five percent XP. Okay, that's pretty good. That is pretty good. Um, let's keep going down for the time being, I suppose. Ooh, that's gonna be a real annoying room to go through on the way back up, if I ever do. Go that way again. Wow. What's with all of these laser trip rooms? There's so many of them. Yeah, let's go to the right first here. Another bazaar. Probably don't even have enough money for all of these things here. Blunder Blast. 404. It has to be so good. But then Combo Blaster. Oh, there's... If only we had more space ducats. You do get some iframes when going through doors for rooms. There we go. There we go, where it's another combat room. Why did I think jumping up there would be a good idea? When clearly that was not the right course of action in the slightest. Ooh. A little bit of a drop off there, too. There we go. Should probably get like two apples here? Yeah, we got two apples. I have to say, though, there does seem to be like a lot of room to move around in this place, at the very least, so. At least there's that. Blah! Oh, come on now. Probably should have been like a little bit more careful there, but that's fine at the same time. No! Oh, what the actual fudge was that, though? A snack attack, though. That's pretty good. For the blast. Wait for the blast. Oh, okay. And go. Okay, that was actually a lot smoother than I thought it would be. Oh, nope. Yep. It's this freaking Joker. Almost flawless it if I just had been a little bit more quick to react. Okay, so that's like the end of the level, but I would like to buy one of those other upgrades, like the combo blaster, potentially, if possible. And there's so many traps in these rooms. I've never seen so many traps in my life. Uh, the map has been marked, so there is also another shop. That's actually ridiculous. Oh, come on. We can totally reach that. Yeah, we can. Oh, I forgot about all these rooms that I have to go through. 
There we go. Was this one any good? There was Combo Blaster and Blunder Blast. If we can't afford the Combo Blaster, I'll at least see what the Blunder Blast is. I've never seen Blunder Blast. No! We actually took damage there. Oh, fudge this room, though. Hell yeah. Ooh! Nice try there, buddy pal. This one could be... Oh! He is actually the world's greatest, and then he goes and does something like that. Oh my god, don't die in this room. Whatever you freaking do. Oh no. I'm also very mad at myself for my performance there. Uh, you know what? Not worth it. Not worth it. Although that's not really worth it either. Okay, so we need the chest that's at the top here. It's just a matter of actually getting around to doing that properly, and I'm a baddie. Okay, but still, that served to be a pretty good first episode there, and a pretty good representation of the loop of this game. So, great work. You've unlocked level 2, where you get car packs for leveling up to unlock new perks as you move along. And then we also have unlocked the relic section where we can read up about our relics that we picked up, like the Cup of Sorrows, locked by Cromwell the Powerful a long time ago. No one knows whose ashes are within this golden urn. And then there's also the black market where you can purchase uh, permanent passive upgrades. Welcome to the black market. Everything you buy here is permanent, making you a stronger swashbuckler. As a first visit gift, take these Boots of Free Fire. Uh, boots of Free Fire. Oh, G to lock in place and aim with the mouse. Oh, okay, that's pretty cool. Um, so there's like anything that's already colored in, we have. Uh, and then anything that's grayed out here, we can purchase. So I would love to have Hail in Hardy. But I think we're going to go with Perk++ plus plus to start off with because an extra two perk slots is actually invaluable early on. But that will do it for this episode. Thank you so much for tuning in, everyone. If you made it to this point in the video, feel free to support it in the form of a like. It helps me out a lot and shows that you want to continue this brand new series. And if you want to see more content like this, you can always subscribe to my channel to be notified whenever I upload a new content, whether it's of this or of any other kind. And until next time, as always, everyone, have a good one, and I'll see you next time in... Flint hook. Bye for now, though.